from Vince Scully Avenue, welcome to Dodger Stadium. We've got Major League Baseball on a Tuesday night. It's the Milwaukee Brewers taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Well, Singy, couple of first place teams, two of the best in the sport squaring off here tonight. Well, coming into the season, based on the moves that they made in the offseason, this is the expectation. So they are realizing their potential. But going head-to-head, -head, this might be a pre of what we see late in October. Almost ready to get underway. Today's starting pitcher, Julio Urias. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout-to-walk ratio on the season. And when you consider the amount of swings and misses that he gets and the fact that he's not issuing free passes, that's going to make him more economical in his pitch count, allow him to move into the middle and deeper part of ball games. So we'll see if that remains true in this one. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Smith takes it in for the out. And there's one away. The catcher. The catcher. And now it's William, William Contreras. Contreras. Well, I got a chance to meet William during spring training as he was coming up trying to get to the big leagues. And this kid's got some ridiculous pop. Watched him on the backfields taking batting practice. All of his coaches would just kind of roll their eyes and say, this kid's going to be great without actually saying the words. Then later that season, I got a chance to chat with Wilson, big brother, and ask him about little brother. And he smiled as well said yeah he's good and gave me that look that I think he might be better than me eventually ball to strike and another ball and a swing and a miss and he really sells the change up with that arm action Oh, you know that's got to be very frustrating for this guy. He knows the strike zone extremely well. And you know what? Good hitters are not going to compromise. He'll take that punch out, but ultimately stick with his plan and have more success than anything else. Two outs, base is empty. And now it's the switch hitter, Carlos Santana. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, a swing like that can help that you come out of this struggle. The we saw the numbers coming into the ball game, Sound. but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So now it's the four-hole hitter, Sal Fralick. They say you win. No ball, one straight. Santana leads off first with two down to the inning. Left hand batter waits to third and that's a fair ball. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Just found a way to slap that ball down the third baseline. That's really excellent back control, and it kind of goes back to all those drills you see hitters do off the tee where it's placed in different spots. That was just nice. Willie Adamas stands in. Ground ball, Freddie Freeman. He handles it himself. That ends the frame. Brewers strand a couple. The Dodger is coming up, and we are scoreless. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in L.A., and on the hill in this one, Freddie Peralta. What's the word on him? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me 
they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. And he deals. Mookie Betts stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. The wind of the pitch. Check swing, no appeal. Next offering is in for a strike. Kicks and deals. Into center. Yelich should have it. Drops into the glove. And there's one down. Batting second, the first base Freddie. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Another solid power season. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average, but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. In the air out to center, Adamas on the move, brings it in with a nice running grab. Two down. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. The batter now will be Will Smith. First pitch, not close. Slider misses outside. Slides. He's got it. Over to first. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Dodgers go down quietly. Scoreless after one. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Second inning set to go. Here's Mark Canna. Urias back to work. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And now the lefty. And that drops in for a strike. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. Boog Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well respected umpire in the league. Here's a 1 1. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Bounced up the middle. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Andrew Monasterio up now for the Brewers. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strike. And that's a little high. Second inning here, no score. Tap back to the mound. To first, two up, two down at the top of the second. Batting it. The second base. This is Bryce Terang. Terang. 
this lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Next offering upstairs. One and two. That's right, LA. Swings through it for the K. Had him way out front of the slur. Gone in order are the Brewers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Welcome back. Here's a speed threat. Ahmed Rosario. The designated hitter. Here comes a pitch. And a curve finds the outside corner for strike two. To the left side, but it is well foul. Kicks and fires. Just outside. Now one and two. It's a good take. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. No, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Got to love the over-the-shoulder catch. I tell you what, those are really fun to make. Here comes Max Muncy. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. And the 1-0. That one pulled foul. The 1-1. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. No. That one just misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Inside three and two to count. Ground ball up the middle. Three up, three down, inning over. Dodgers down in order. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Now the left fielder, Tyrone Taylor. Tyrone Taylor. Urias back to work. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. 2013 in the playoffs. You caught one as the Red Sox played the Rays in the division series. I sacrificed a bracelet. It was my wrist and my hand. Next pitch misses inside, and it's one and one. Cut on and miss, struck him out, one out. 
back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Christian Yelich. He popped out to the catcher his first job off. That misses, and it's one to no. One ball, no strike. Way high. Two balls, no strike. In the air, right side of the infield. He's there. He's got it. Two away down. The bat. The, the catcher. Catch. William Contreras. William Contreras. Up now for the Brewers. Struck out looking in his first at bat. Contreras batting second in today's lineup, and he was born in Venezuela. The pitch. So two balls and no strikes. And a pitch. Misses with the 2 0, and he's fired three straight outside the strike zone. Three 0 down. And that's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Carlos Santana digs in now. Single to right at his first trip. Now this is in the air down the line. Great effort as he's able to haul it in and that will end the inning. Milwaukee leaves one and we are still scoreless. And welcome back as we go to the last of the third. And the batter now, Chris Taylor. Taylor. The right hander back to work. Just oh, missed. Oh. And it's even up. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, it should be a good outing for him. Bounce back to the mound. And it's through for a hit. And the leadoff man aboard. That again. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And next for L.A., James Outman. Can't glove it cleanly. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Not sure, not sure. Singy did a good job showing off his arm for the out on what was a close play. It's a good thing, too, because he didn't have a lot of time there. No, he didn't, Boog. How about that arm, man? Statcast saying he whipped it over there at 86 miles per hour. And, you know, that's nothing to scoff at when you're not throwing off a mound. Miguel Rojas at the plate. That one oh. close rule the ball. One ball one. Righty delivers. Check swing, oh, but he went too right. far. And yeah, a count even at one. Taylor, the runner at second with one away. Next pitch is outside. Curveball drops in there. That big curve inside is a pitch that can buckle you a little bit. Looks like a fastball out of hand and then just drops over that inside part of the plate. 
Line drive. He's got it. And there's two away. Now back. Right field. Mookie. Back. Here's Mookie to hit. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. First pitch, oh, and he oh, just oh. misses. Runner at second, two down. That's outside. Two balls, no strikes to count. Chris, okay. one of the things about Mookie, he really hits the outside pitch well. Well, pitchers know he can hit the outside pitch so well that now as a pitcher, you have to throw it off the plate away. And if he has got good plate discipline, you find yourself falling behind in the count and walking batters. Next offering misses, and now 3-0. Looks like he was trying to get to the front door with that curveball. It's definitely a finesse pitch, but it backed up a little bit on him and stayed inside. Here's a 3-0. And now three and one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Bye. Struck him out of the front door breaking ball. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. As we go to the top of the fourth, now the Brewers cleanup hitter, Sal Fraley. Sal Fraley. And here it comes. That pitch in for a strike, and it's 0-1. Well, these Brewers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. The 0-2. Fights it off, you'll see another. He goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One down, base is empty. Just off the outside edge. Good hitters count the 2-0. Yeah. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. At the belt and fires. Fought off foul. And now 2-2. Two and two. Goes down looking. <laughs> And now Mark Canna grounded out his first time. Off the mark there. Ball one. And a pitch. Good eye right there. Two and one. Pitch.
And a 2-1 on the way. Ground ball right side. Hernandez. On to first. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nobody left for Milwaukee. Still no score. Back here in L.A., bottom of the fourth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. The other way. That's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. The pitch. That one off the mark. One ball, one strike. Freeman gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play. And that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. Runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ballgame. And now it's Ahmed Rosario. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And there's the strike. No outs. Runners at first and second. Next offering upstairs. That clips the corner. Really going after him here. All fastballs to get ahead in the count. And that one is in the dirt. And the count is two and two. That's down and in. Go to lay off that pitch down. Enrique Hernandez up next for the Dodgers. Payoff pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. First and second here, no outs. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Santana pulls it in on the run. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. Here's Kike Hernandez. Wide out his first time. Swing and a miss. It's 0-1. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. And the right-hander deals. That one misses. It's a ball and two strikes. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So... You don't worry as much about him in this situation. Lay it third in there. And it's second and third one away. Got to take advantage of this opportunity now because of the wild pitch. They've got two runners in scoring position. Good time for the hitter to lock in, put the ball in play hard somewhere. Two on, one out. 
Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Oh, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. Max Muncy at the dish. This guy with light tower power. First offering, and it just misses. One ball. Just missed. And that's in for a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Next offering clips the zone count even at two. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Squirts away a little bit. Runners hold tight, but it's a full count now. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, a breaking ball in that 3 2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Chris Taylor now, and he's already singled in this game. And he takes one right on the black. Strike one. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Next one off the plate inside. And now it's even one and one. Outside. Brook, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. The pitch. And there's the strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. 2-2 Two -two down. Stays alive. Base is loaded. Two down. Ground ball right side. And it's just foul. That was close. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So they load the bases, but leave them stranded. On to the top of the fifth we go. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Here at the ballpark, top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Andrew Monasterio. The pitch. Strike one. Well, these Brewers need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. They're trying to find ways to drive the ball with some authority, but it's just not happening for them so far. Zero extra base hits in the game, so it's been tough for them to get anything going. Next one pitch ball. in the dirt. Okay. Going to count one and two. Sometimes you have to keep chipping away until you break through, but it's a lot easier to put runs on the board when you have guys in scoring position because they put themselves there. Fires to first on the run. Here one away here in the fifth. The batter the two. Second base. Bryce. Bryce. Terang. Next for the Brewers, Bryce Terang. Went down on strikes his first time through. Ball one, no strikes. On, 
There's the swing and a miss. In there. And so now one and two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Out to short. Rojas. Sends it to yeah. first. And that quickly two away. Now back at left field. Tyrone Taylor. Tyrone Taylor up now for the Brewers. His first at bat was a strikeout. And that one is inside ball one. And it's fouled away. And now two balls and a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. That clips a corner. Okay. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Boog, do you think you could draw a walk now, in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Yelich stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Ahead 0-2 oh in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Here's the 0-2. Oh Swing and a miss, and that is that. Brewers strand one, and we're still knotted at zero. Back here at Dodger Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and at the plate for the Dodgers, James Outman. The wind and the pitch. Upstairs. Oh. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb. So they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. And yeah, that's outside. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense strings something together to take the lead. There's a strike, three and one. Swing and a miss. And it's three and two. The three two is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a three two pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Now it's the shortstop, Miguel Rojas. He's 0 for 1. That one's in there, 0 and 1. pitch strike on the inside corner with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base trying to stay out of a double play here and the 2 lifted in the air right field Freilich has a beat on it makes the catch for the out 
Now back, right field, Mookie Betts. And now it's Mookie Betts. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper makes the grab and there's two out. From up here, it looked like that liner might be splitting the gap in right center. That's one of those atom balls you just have to live with as a hitter. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Showed a really nice opposite field approach in his last at bat. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Chris, back in the day, they called Sean Casey the mayor. I think today's version of the mayor, the chattiest first baseman, would be Freddie Freeman. Peralta keeping an eye on him. You'll one. That one the other way. Jumps, but it's off his glove. The throw is still in time. And they do get the third out. The inning is over. So the Dodgers leave one. Sixth inning coming up. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Top six. Now here is William Contreras. He is a talented player. His big brother Wilson has voice that his little brother may end up being better than he is. And a pitch. There's a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. In the air, right side. That settles underneath it. And there's one down. Now batting the first base. So up next, Carlos Santana. A switch hitter batting right. Cracks his bat and pops him up. He's got it. That's out number two. The right field of the ten. Next for Milwaukee, Sal Fralick. That clips the zone. That's strike one. And there's a foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Hit hard, base hit. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Willie Adamas now at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Fralick off the of first with two away. And ball one. That misses. And it's two and one. to the right side he steps on the bag and that is that no runs one hit no errors and a man left part of the order three four five coming up and we still have no score
back here at Chavez Ravine. And here's the catcher, Will Smith. The catcher. Peralta back to work. And yeah, that's outside. You can expect this hitter to be looking for something on a tee. He can get up in the air and untie this ball game. Next offering is in for a strike. And that's in the dirt. Out to short, Adamas tosses across the first, and they get the out on Smith. Now the hitter, And next will be the cleanup hitter, Ahmed Rosario. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And yeah, that's too high. The 2-0 is in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Throw on to Santana. Out on a bang-bang play. Well, I'm impressed with this guy's internal clock. He knew he had plenty of time to take that extra step, secure his grip on the baseball, and make a strong, accurate throw. Now it's the second baseman, Enrique Hernandez. In there for strike one. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Foul ball. Oh and two now. Check swing. Tried to hold up. Now an appeal to first. And he held up. And a ball and two strikes. And that misses off the outside edge. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning coming up, and we still have no score. All set for the start of the inning. So here's the Brewers' DH, Mark Canna. Mark Canna. And a pitch. There's a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the 0-0 count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Oh, and two now. Bows it back with two strikes. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Here comes a pitch. Next offering is outside. Just misses, and it's two and two. That's a really good take. The 2-2 two -two now. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two-two -two now. Got him. Picks up strikeout number seven. 
Now the third baseman, now, Andrew Monasterio. Andrew Monasterio. Out there to center, Outman settles underneath it, and there's two down. Now back, back. second base. Right. Here's the second Terang. baseman, Bryce Terang. That clips the corner. And the pitch. One ball, one strike. All right, Dodgers. That one and missed. Good eye right there. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. 3 1 count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. They say it went. Three, two. And he walked him. Well, he's starting to look a little gas to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this now spot or not. Left left Up now for Milwaukee, Tyrone, Tyrone Taylor. Taylor. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. On, Dodger, Runner's Runner going, on the goal. Going. Pitch in for a strike. Throw to second. Save. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on them and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Two down. Go ahead, run. It's scoring position. Late that time, and it's strike two. More and more guys are looking to slug regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on his approach. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And that is that. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Max Muncy. Oh, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late. Activity in the bullpen for the Brewers. Joel Piamps getting loose out there. Mejia, the hard throwing right hander, up as well. The 0 1. And that clips the inside corner. And that one almost got him. Man, he's been really good about to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The one, two. Got it by him for the K. And up next for Los Angeles, Chris Taylor. Taylor. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Taylor out of the play. And there's two down. 
the center fielder, number 33. Here's the center fielder, James Outman. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. That's inside. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Miguel Rojas waits on deck. There's a strike. Now a check swing on three and one. Appeal third. Didn't go. And he's a guy that will certainly think about stealing a bag or two. Not the kind of speed you want to put on base in a tie game. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. That does it for Freddie Peralta, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. Joel Pyams gets the call from the pen. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Joel Pyams. And next for L.A., Miguel Rojas. Well, with pretty good speed over there at first base, I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. And a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. And there's a the ball. Two gone, the possible go-ahead run at first. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. That one misses. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. High fly ball, shallow right field. Freilich has a beat on it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Great work out of the Brewer bullpen right there. Eighth inning coming up. And we still have no score. Back here in L.A. for the top of the eighth. Here's the leadoff man for the Brewers, Christian Yelich. The pitch that misses off the outside edge now one and one One one, and now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. Battling here as he fouls it away. Man, this has been impressive. Just now getting to 100 pitches as we start this eighth inning. He's given them a lot of length, and we'll see just how much longer they'll let him go. Got him looking. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Next for the Brewers, William Contreras. So right-handed slugger at the plate. Chrissy is surprised that the lefty is still in there. Extremely. I mean, you've got arms down in the bullpen, and there's somebody down there that can match up. Try to get out of this jam. Swung on, belted. 
That's back there. Gone. He'll circle the bases. The Brewers score first. It's one zip. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. It appears Dave Roberts is going to dig into his bullpen as he comes out of the dugout to make the change. Julio Urias done in this one. Good effort out of him, even though he exits on the hook for the loss. New arm on the bump after a quick break. Caleb Ferguson into the game. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. One down. Carlos Santana up now for the Brewers. In there, and it's 0-1. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Swing and a miss. Ugly swing right there. Ball one there. One, two now. Good job to fight that one off. The wind of the pitch. Santana started after it, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he went around. Rule the swing. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Sal Fraley. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Taylor makes the grab on the run. Milwaukee strikes first on this solo jack. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. And welcome back. Bottom of the eighth. Now at the plate, Mookie Betts. The pitch. And a foul ball. And now the 0 1. They say it went. No ball. The tying run at the plate. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Oh, and two now. And now one and two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Oh, man. That stays fair. We got a new ball game. Great swing. Just couldn't keep it between the lines. He's got to try to bottle that. Do it again. Next one is off the plate. Three and two now. Freddie Freeman waiting to bat for the Dodgers. And 
there's Ball four. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Andrew Chafin enters the game, and they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked when opposing team did that to me. No outs, runner at first. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. With a single base runner because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. First offering misses the mark. Movement in Milwaukee's bullpen. Abner Uribe up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Williams getting loose as well. One to know to Freddie Freeman. No. There's the strike. Runner at first with no outs here. Two one pitches in there and the count is even. Well that's really the money spot down and away. If you can locate that consistently it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Here's the catcher, Will Smith. Swing and a drive. Left field. That's bad. And that one is out of here. That should fire up the dugout. His 16th homer of the year, it's 2-1. That sound you hear is every writer in the press box smashing the delete button on their keyboards. Talk about flipping the script, boo. This story was set up for a different type of finish. Now, who knows how to live? You have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate they can get back in the ball game so quickly that's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly Ahmed Rosario steps to the plate for the Dodgers and that's outside Still only one out here in the inning. There's a strike. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box, got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. And here is Enrique Hernandez. Foul out of play off to the right. And here it comes. And yeah, that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. And now it's Max Muncy. 
Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an one eye. Ball. No ball one, no strikes. And he deals. And there's a fly ball deep right field. That one back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Two run shot for the Dodgers this inning. Last chance coming up for the Brewers. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound. Evan Phillips. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. Here's the shortstop at the play, Willie Adamas. And the pitch. That's a little bit low. a little bit high there's a strike now two and one and the righty deals and now it's even up and now it's filled up Mark Canna up next for the Brewers. Right hander kicks deals. Fights it off. He'll see another. Three two now. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. Kicks and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. And the tying run is on base. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Here's the Brewers' DH, Mark Canna. First pitch just misses. They say it went. One ball, one strike. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Fastball almost got him there. Straightened him up a little bit. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Got him swinging. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Victor Caratini. He comes to the plate in a huge spot in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Runner on the go. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. Righty delivers. 
Gets under and pops it up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. The batter of the team. Second base. Right. Right. So it's their last chance in this one. Now it's the second baseman, Bryce Terrain. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Here comes the 01. One run game here at the top of the ninth. In there at the knees. One and two. Well, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Roll over to first. Adamas oh, dives back in safely. Well, at least you got the pitcher thinking a little bit. You don't want to run yourself out of the ball game. You get thrown out or picked off. It's over. Swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. Nine wins in a row. It's such a good feeling right now with this club. But no one wants to be the guy that causes the team to lose. In fact, they're looking at ways. Each guy, every day he comes to the ballpark, how can I help us win today? And this is a great feeling. It's like being in the playoffs when individual statistics don't matter. It's all about the team W. And your final score here today, 2-1. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.